Hi, I'm Toby from Ableton.com and I quickly want to show you how you can select different songs in Ableton Live, different locators via the kit selection of your SPD-SX and your SPD-SX Pro. So um, this can become really handy if you just want to take one controller, you have a set list on your SX and you just want to go to the right kit on your SX and you want to select the right song being played from Ableton Live on the same time. So let me explain you how this works. This works via a Max for Life device of mine. It's called Trigger Locator via SPDSX or SPDSX Pro. It's two different devices depending on which SX you're using. So this is a Max for Life device and you would need Max for Life for that which is included in Ableton Live Suite or uh, can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. So you then would need to buy my Max for Life devices, you would need to set up MIDI connections, you would need to set up the locators and then you can um, access those different songs really flexible and only from your Essex. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's set this up. So first of all, we have those different locators here being set up. So um, let's create a new locator. Let's say we have a different song. Let's call this XYZ. Okay, so now you would need to go to the device which sits on the MIDI track. I'm going to explain the MIDI routing a little bit later here as well. But for the people who know already how to route their SX program changes into a MIDI track. You just need to place the uh, according device SX or SX Pro on the MIDI track. You create your locators and then you have a menu here where you need to select the locators. So you need to press refresh if you are um, creating a new locator here or if you're renaming it, you need to remap it. Okay, so we want to take this XYZ and we want to say well actually we want to apply this to a certain slot so maybe apply this to the slot 6 here so I just um, can set the currently selected locator XYZ to a certain field so I have to press 6 here and we can see now XYZ is being applied to um, the sixth slot here. So if I'm here, for example, uh, at la 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 la, and if I now hit the six, you can see it's jumping there and autoplay is being activated here as well. So autoplay means um, as soon as a locator is being triggered via your SX, it will start playing. You can turn this off. So again, if we're at la 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 and if we're hitting now the six, the locator, uh, the playhead is jumping to XYZ, it's just a little blue line here. So, um, but you can see that if I do that once more, now the blue line, I hit the six on here and now it's jumping there. So this field is now specified to select this uh, locator XYZ. So we now have to set up a kit number from our SX Pro to trigger this. So let's pick maybe 130. So as soon as I select number 130 on the SX Pro here, kit 130, this kit will now trigger this six slot, which is set up to go to uh, the XYZ locator. So um, if I select kit 130 now, you can see it's jumping there and I have set up a few more um, kit numbers here already so you can see it's jumping from the different and specified locators here. Okay so this is how easy it works and if you need more than 10 slots you are able to use just multiple devices in a row so you can set up as many locators two different slots, two different kits on your SX and on your SX Pro as you need. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the MIDI connection and setting up a set list on the SX and SX Pro. So first of all, obviously you need to make a MIDI connection so that MIDI messages from the SX are being sent to Ableton Live to your computer. So you can do this via USB or if you have a longer distance, you want to use a MIDI cable here and go via the 5-pin MIDI out to some sort of converter, could be a sound card or um, some other gear 
and then connect this to your computer. So if this is connected, um, so for example via USB, if you go into your MIDI menu, uh, in Ableton Live and the preferences, um, you will see, for example, here the SX Pro is connected via USB and it's showing the SX Pro name and the import is being um, selected here. You will only need to activate the track in here and as soon as you do this, the SX Pro becomes available as a MIDI source to select here. Okay, so uh, just one little note, I highly advise you to turn off, to always have all the uh, MIDI ports you're not using being turned off. So for example, if you're not sending any MIDI to the SX Pro, just turn this off. Okay, it will, uh, it might save you some uh, problems issue if you're not have set up your MIDI routings clean here, which happens if something needs to be set up quick, for example. Okay, so once this MIDI connection is being made, the cable is being made, you need to make sure that on the SX Pro and on the SX, um, the MIDI, a MIDI message is being sent out when you're changing um, a kit. So you, for the SX for example, if you go to the menu, if you go to system, no, sorry, if you go to setup, and then under MIDI, if you enter there, you will see under the control tab, the first tab here, uh, it's probably, you can't probably see this um, accurate here now, the text, but in the MIDI menu on your SX, you need to set up the PC, which stands for program change, PC TXRXSW. This one needs to be activated on the SX, so that means if that is activated and you change your kit on the SX, a MIDI program change will be sent out to Ableton. Okay, so that's very uh, similar to the SX Pro, but of course we have more functions here, more menu functions here. So we need to go to system first, and then we go to system MIDI. And inside system MIDI, we will find, I think it's a one, two, three, the third from the top, program change TX needs to be activated so that the pro is changing out a MIDI message when kids are changing. Okay, so the next and the last bit, that's up to you. If you're selecting kids and just go up in a row, you know, um, stuff will be selected, like um, kids will go up one by one, but you can as well on the SX and on the SX Pro, you can set up a set list. So that means if you're pressing plus now, it's not going up from 20 to 21, it's going to the next kit it's called Kit Chain on the SX here, and my Kit Chain A is being activated. And currently, I'm jumping, and we can see that. Um, let's select the SX track here. We can see that it's currently jumping between Kit uh, 60, 40, and 20. And we can see that 20, 60, 40 is set up here, and this way. Um, it's triggering those first three slots here, which are assigned to certain locators here. So once this is set up, you can actually access all your sets and all your songs via only the SX, having the name to match up, creating a set list or a chain, um, kit chain on your SX and then run this whole show and always get the visual feedback of what you got selected because you're selecting it on the SX. You can see it clearly. MIDI program changes are sending to Ableton Live to the Max for Live devices, selecting the right locators. Okay, so if you want to unmap a locator slot, so for example, this slot here, you just press the X and then you can reassign this. So as I mentioned before, you got the autoplay function here. So if autoplay is being activated, so now um, this is not running, Ableton Live is not running, but as soon as I hit 
um, My Kid 60 Here Now, which is mapped to Second Song X, it will start playing. Obviously, I have a few more Max for Live devices, especially for arrangement view. I have an automatic stop and jump to next locator um, thingy here. I will put a link in the video description. Those Max for Live devices, again, you will need Max for Live for that included in Suite or can be bought as an add-on. Or you can get the free 90 days Ableton Live Suite trial if you want to check out stuff like this. Obviously, you need to get my devices first links in the video description okay take care there are a lot of spd sx uh, devices um, sx pro as well um, just check out um, the links in the video description if you want and if you're looking for another way to control ableton live or control your sx sounds or kits from ableton live there are quite a lot of things you can do have a look in the video description for the links cheers bye bye